Final two questions. Um, so what is, what is the one thing that you believe that either no one else believes or, or few people believe? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I believe that you can figure out whether an entrepreneur is going to build a great business within the first 15 minutes of meeting that entrepreneur. Really? Yes. How, do you, how can you tell that? I think, I think a lot of things come together. You know, I think that uh, a, lot of our, a lot of our work is basically to, to sort of connect the dots very early on in the history of a company and understand you know, the dynamics of whether or not this entrepreneur is going to pull it off, whether this entrepreneur has the capabilities of hiring a great team, has vision, has thought through all of the challenges, is going to have the stamina. And um, I, think, I think you know when that entrepreneur is building a rocket ship in the first 15 minutes, actually. Have you ever been wrong? Many times. When have you, give us an example no, actually, of what's been wrong. No, actually, in the 15 minutes, really never. In the 15 minutes, really, because it happens very rarely. So you could say that, because I'm talking about rocket ships, right? So, right. I mean, I'm talking about so absolutely. So not everyone you book is, no, you, I mean, you. No, but, but in, in the category. first 15 minutes, those are quite clear. Mm -hmm. So give us an also, example. Also, in the first 15 minutes, if it's not going to work, you're pretty clear too. So it's all those sort of. And what are the telltale signs if it's not going to work in the first 15 minutes? Uh, well, I mean, for, for, for me, uh, a big part is whether the person has figured out a business where there are really, you know, there's so much risk around a business that you want to try and limit as much that can go wrong as possible. So if not only the market has to be disrupted, but the business model and the technology has to be figured out as well. So second derivative or third derivative plays, that just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to just limit the, there's so many things that can go wrong, the business model is going to change. So at least having the elegance of a business model that is first derivative away or a business that's first derivative away from a success is a big sign. The second one is whether or not this person wants to build a company that's going to be around forever or whether they're trying to find some sort of way of wedging themselves in for a sale. Mm -hmm. If it's wedging itself in for a sale, it's, it's very unlikely they're ever going to get bought or, or that it's going to be of significant enough size for us to back. Can you really tell that? Because a lot of people lie about that and a lot of people, their mind changes once they get into actually running this thing. Um, you're right. Sometimes they tell a good story of always want to be, about want to, wanting to be a public or an independent company, and then lo and behold, <laughs> the money's pretty good. We'll take it now, and we'll be, we'll be an independent company next time. <laughs> that does happen. Uh, I'd like to think that I can figure that out quite well, <laughs> but I do, I, do, I do go wrong sometimes. So who was the last entrepreneur you saw that was like in 15 minutes you were like, absolutely? Um, well, I can't really disclose it, actually. That's I'm so sorry. Lame. I'm sorry. It's in this space that I was talking to you about that I'm spending a lot of time. This sort of like billion customer base of Microsoft. Ah. I've been really going after that area. And uh, I met a very young entrepreneur within the first 15 minutes. I don't think he knew, but I definitely knew. OK, 